Hi guys. So today's video is one of the most requested video. So I often get these questions in LinkedIn asking why my resume is not getting shortlisted or what we need to add in resumes so that it will get shortlisted or how to make a resume more effective or ATS score, how to make it better. All these questions I frequently get. So that is the reason of making this video. So if you are applying for Power BI jobs, you might be wondering what recruiters actually check in resumes. So I reached out to 10 recruiters and their responses were surprising. If you want your resume to stand out, just watch the video till the end, okay? So to get real insights, I contacted 10 recruiters who hired for Power BI data analyst and BI developer roles. And I asked them a simple question, what makes a great Power BI resume, okay? So let's dive into these responses. So almost every recruiter mentioned one thing. So your resume must clearly show that you know Power BI SQL and DAX skills, okay? Uh, these are non-negotiable. Bonus points will be <laughs> there if you have uh, data modeling, ETL or Excel skills. Okay. So these are like additional skills and it will give you edge over other associates. Okay. If you have ETL and data modeling skills, but Power BI, SQL and DAX, they are like non-negotiable. Okay. And then some recruiters, they even, they even bluntly told that many resumes get rejected because they are too heavy. Means if you keep, uh, if you write information but it looks very heavy and just cluttered information then it's not going to add any value also if they do not showcase any real projects then it's not useful okay if you list power bi expert but if you don't show actual work then it's a red flag okay so you have to show real work you have to do personal projects and you have to add those links in your resume so that people who are reading your resume will get idea that you have proper experience. And if you are an experienced candidate and looking for a switch, then you have to mention what all you have done in project. Okay. So it's not like I know Power BI, I know DAX, not like that. Okay. What impact you have created, what use case you have solved. Okay. Th that kind of information, what you have done and how uh, your company or your client, how they got benefited because of the work you did that you have to mention properly. Okay. Not, uh, not just vague words or not just generic skills. No. Okay. You have to add proof of your work and you have to show quantitative value. Okay. So too much text is not needed without mentioning real projects. Your resume won't get shortlisted and don't mention generic skills. You have to mention specific skills and you have to show how you created impact. Add numeric value. Like if you uh, automated something and if you made uh, work easier, then how much percentage efficiency got increased? Suppose you created some automated SQL script, then uh, the processing time would be reduced, right? So if, you are, if your work created 30% speed increased, then you have to mention that I created a SQL script and automated it so that the efficiency got increased by 30%. And if you got appreciation, you can add that as well. Okay, that is the way you have to write. If you write, I have experience in automation, no one be will believe you. You have to show what use case you have solved using that automation and how much impact it created. Okay, uh, next, what makes a resume standard? So use a clear format. Don't use different formats and different fonts for each line. Use a proper format and uh, use for font and everything. Check it properly. Okay, there should be a well-structured layout and you have to uh, try to use bullets and quantify results. That is what I told just one second back. I told you quantify results is how you have to, how much impact you created. That quantity you have to mention 30% efficiency increased or 40% speed increased or uh, like client satisfaction increased. That how you will measure client satisfaction using the ratings you can measure. Okay. So that like that you have to mention the impact. Okay. And then you have to add the project links apart from your uh, uh, projects, which you are working in the company. Other than that, you should have some personal projects as well. So add that. And then certification, it is your choice, but it's good if it's there. Okay. It's not compulsory, but if it is there, add it in your resume. Okay. It is a added bonus. So uh, best resumes are these kind of resumes. Okay. This will make your resume stand out. Now let us look some common mistakes. For example, Instead of saying created Power BI dashboards for sales analysis, what you can say is I have designed a dashboard for sales and it reduced reporting time by 40%. Okay, like this you can say. So if you write I created a dashboard for sales analysis, there is no impact. But if you if you say instead of a dashboard in Excel, you updated it to Power BI and you designed it in Power BI and that's why reporting time decreased by reporting time uh, reduced by 40%. So that is the impact you created. Then it is the correct way of reporting. Okay. Other thing, another example I have mentioned is skilled in Power BI SQL and DAX. So who knows your skill or not? How they will know? 
So if you did some work using that skill, then they will understand. So instead of that, you can write, I developed Power BI reports using SQL and DAX to optimize data insights. That is the correct way to write. Okay. These are some uh, small changes, but it will add huge value. Okay. So to update your resume, use a, use a clear format. It is ATS friendly format. Mostly everybody would have heard this ATS. So once you complete preparing your resume, just go to web. There are multiple websites. So I use resume worded. So you can use that if you want or there are other websites as well. You can use whatever it is. Just check your ATS score of your resume. Okay. And don't forget to include the real world projects with measurable impact. Okay. These changes will help your resume get noticed. Okay. So highlight the skills Power BI, SQL and DAX and impact metrics so like i said you have to add quantify you have to quantify whatever impact you have created and you have to showcase the projects add links okay and add links to your linkedin portfolio as well like i told you uh, try to create digital presence add your linkedin and in linkedin also keep posting content so that you are you will stand out in the crowd okay so all these things if you do your resume will get noticed so i hope these insights uh, will help you boost your Power BI job search. So let me know what challenges you faced in the building your resume as well. Okay. So one more thing I want to show you is this is one of the uh, ATS friendly resume which I created. So in this you can see this is how I was saying how you have to add. So here I have mentioned developed sales analytics dashboard and I have tracked revenue, deal closures and client retention. So this way I have increased 20% increase in strategic decision making. Okay. Same way I told I have implemented role level security and then I told I have implemented ETL workflows and using that manual effort got reduced by 35%. Okay. So this is one such, uh, these are some examples. Okay. Uh, like how you have to quantify and how you have to make for that example, I have told you this. So what you can do is I have added some resources in my top mate. Okay. I have the link you can find in the bio itself. Okay. So you can go out and check out there if you want these kind of resources. Okay.